Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. So, the scripture God is sending me to is Hosea 14. I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to go over the message, okay? So, the scripture is, Return Israel to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously, that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not mount war horses. We will never say again, our gods, to what our own hands have made. For in you, the fatherless find compassion. I will hear their, heal their waywardness and love them freely, for my anger has turned away from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like a lily. Like a cedar of Lebanon, he will send down his roots. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will dwell again in his shade. They will flourish like the grain. They will blossom like the vine. Israel's fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more have I to do with the idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a flourishing juniper. Your fruitfulness comes from me. Who is wise? Let them realize these things. Who is discerning? Let them understand. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. Okay, so here's the message. For someone, um, I just feel like someone was trying to provoke you to sin. Like, regardless if this is someone that, um, was being mean to you, bullying, like, I, I I just feel like bullying, like, there was someone that was bullying you, regardless if they were trying to say things to make you feel some kind of way, or if they were trying to hurt your feelings, um, they were trying to shame you, I just feel like this is someone, um, you are having to deal with someone that is, like, really trying to make you feel ashamed, okay, and it's nothing wrong with feeling shame, okay? I'm going to say that. Like, it is nothing wrong with feeling shame in yourself, especially when you are a child of God. It actually makes sense, okay? When you are a child of God and you know you did something that God would not be happy with or God will not be proud of, okay? You will feel a sense of shame. Um, And it's human. Like, this is human nature. I just feel like, the only kind of person that feels no shame when they do something wrong is someone that is living a life of sin and they simply just do not care, okay? They don't care. They have no intention of seeing God's face. They have no intention of going to heaven. They have no intention of worshiping God in any shape, form, or fashion. But you are not like that. And because you are not like that, the you doing something that you know God would not be happy with, it, may, it brings you shame. It brings you sadness. It makes you feel... um. It makes you feel this way. And I just feel like um, there was someone that was basking in this. Like they were basically gloating about the fact that you fell short of God's glory. They were gloating um, the fact that you may have fell from grace. They were gloating the fact that whatever it is. And I just felt like for whoever this is for, it's not even something bad. Like it could be something so little, so small. And it's like... You are more worried about it than God is. Like, other people are more concerned with it than God is. And, you know, regardless to if it's like, um, maybe you are someone, you walk the path so narrow, like you walk that narrow path in such a way that sometimes it's, it's hard for people to realize that you are human, okay? It's hard for people to realize that you are a people, and sometimes you make mistakes. It's hard for people to realize that you are you yourself are not perfect. Nobody walking this earth is perfect. And God is saying that you will not he he says he will not allow you to be put to shame, okay? And even if you do do something that you know God did not want you to do, that you know God is not happy with. God says Return Israel to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously. God is saying that the moment that you repent and turn away from these sins, he will graciously, like he loves us. God says, um, 
like a cedar of Lebanon, he will send down his roots. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will dwell again in his shade. They will flourish like the grain. They will blossom like the vine. Israel's fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. It is okay to be a people and to make mistakes. Okay. It is okay to be a person and do things that you yourself are not proud of. Even like while we are walking this earth, we are constantly undergoing tests and all kind of like, regardless if it is a test of faith or if it is literally a test of what choice you going to make, what you going to do. He will send little tests our way and he will send little like you, you. But I just feel like this is somebody you have really been beating yourself up about whatever this mistake is. You have really been beating yourself up about whatever it is that you did. And God is saying, it's okay. Get back over here. Okay. Like God is like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. You most stressed out about it than he is. You have already repented. You didn't turn away from you said, I'm never doing that again. And God is like, he took that and he said, okay, but you are still beating yourself up about it. You are still feeling guilty about it. In some cases, it could be a situation where someone else is making you feel this way. Or it could be a situation where you like, I, I just feel like even if it's somebody that's messing with you, we will punish ourselves far worse than anybody else could ever punish us. And I just feel like God is saying for someone, you have been punishing yourself for whatever it is. And God is not even worried about it. Like God has already forgiven you of whatever it is that you did. And like, I, I just truly feel like this is not something that is just like, it's not some, there are other people that are doing far more horrendous things than whatever it is that you did. Okay. Like whatever it is that you're people that are literally, they wake up every day. As soon as they feet hit the flow, they looking for some kind of sin to get into before they can even get that. The, 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 the uh, what is it called? The, the boogers out their eyes. They trying to find some kind of way to sin against God. There are people before they can lay down and go to sleep at night. They got to do something that's going to tick God off. And they, 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 they live for the moment that they get to go against God. There are people that are really like that. God say he is not worried about that little stuff that you did over there. You repented, you turned away from it and you feel awful about that. He is worried about the person that's raising hell up the road and they refuse to stop. He is worried about the person that is constantly going after any and everybody that they can. He is worried about the person that's causing problems and trying to make any and everybody like that they can a living hell. That's the person that he's after. God said, you repented and you turned away from it and you still rolling around. And like, like it say in the scripture, you want, you in sackcloth and you crying and you, you just, you don't know what to do and you don't know how to do it. God said, get up from there. I forgave you already. Get up from there. I forgave you already. Get up from there. I forgave you already. Keep it pushing. God said he's still blessing you. Even in the midst of your nonsense, he was blessing you. Even in the midst of whatever it is that you had going on, he's still blessing you. And he loves you. 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 God loves you so much. This is not a situation where God is trying to... um. I just feel like for whoever this is, you, you are just feeling really bad. And you know... Before I was called to, you know, pull up a scripture and start speaking, God was saying that this is for someone that you have to deal with. Um, you have to deal with a lot of criticism. So you may have been dealing with the criticism of someone, or maybe you felt like you were being scrutinized and you were basically put in a position to where like uh, bullies. I don't know why I keep getting messages about bullies today. Okay. But I just feel like this is someone you were dealing with. Like someone was bullying you. Someone was trying to make you feel as though, um, 
you are not good enough. Like this was intended. It was intended to make you lose confidence in yourself. You were into, it was intended. Like there is something that was intended to make you feel as though you could not be confident to do what you needed to do. Even if like, and for some of you, um, it could be a situation where you didn't even see it. You didn't even hear it. You weren't around when they said this about you. You weren't in a position like this is somebody, um, like it could be social media. It could be social media. It could be a situation where there is somebody that um I just feel like this is somebody that they keep trying to throw shade at you. They keep trying to say little stuff about you. They they may have even went out their way to talk about you and they they keep posting or saying whatever. This is somebody that keeps talking about you and they think you watching them. They think you looking at them. They think that you just sit they think this is what this is what they think that you sit on your phone and you looking at their page all day. They think that you are sitting around watching their videos all day. They think that you just, every time they post something, you paying attention to it. And I just feel like whoever you are, you really don't care. You are not worried about them. You do not take out the time, effort, and energy to say, I wonder what such and such is doing today and look them up and see what they got going on. You don't care. You, It's not the kind of situation. It's not that kind of party. God says it's not that kind of party. Even if it's someone like maybe you were friends with them in the past, or maybe it was a situation where y'all used to be close. Maybe you used to get advice from them or whatever it is. But I just feel like um, if this person has ever thrown shade towards you, or if they ever said anything intended to hurt your feelings, or if they ever said anything intended to make you lose confidence, or you took note that they were trying to bully you, you blocked them and you kept it. You don't care what they say no more. It don't have nothing to do with you. They can say whatever they want to say. That's their business. It don't mean that it's true. Just because they have something mean to say about you does not mean that it is true. Just because they have something that is not kind, that is their business. God said that's their portion. You're not sitting around concerned with them. You're not sitting around worried about what they're saying. You're not sitting around concerned with what they have going on. You got your own stuff going on. God said that it is not meant for you to sit around in agony and in, in, in complete sadness because you did something. And whatever it is that you did wasn't even that bad. Like, I just feel like this is somebody you did something. Like, it's not even like, the, like I said, it's, this is not a, a, a situation where you just, like this person, what they doing is worse than what you did. Them specifically trying to bully you and turn you away and make you feel as though God would never forgive you. That is worse than whatever it is that you did. And I'm just uh, like, it is. And, and it's like, God wants us all to repent of our sins. God wants us all to turn our back from any kind of evil or anything that we did that is not um, considered God. Like, God does not want us to be in a position to where we, I don't know what that, what was that? God don't want us to be in a position to where we sitting around and we are uh constantly in mourning. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have already repented, especially if you have already turned away from your sin and you want to be a good person, you strive. Like this is something that you really cling to. You really want to be pure hearted. You want to be better. God is saying that he's not going to push you in a position to where you are constantly sitting around crying and you're constantly sad. And every time you turn this way, this person talking about you, you turn that way. Now this person looking down upon you. Everybody is looking at you like you are just this big, horrible monster. God said he does not intend for you to feel that way. And he did not intend for this person to fix their mouth to turn you away from him. Like at all, God says he wants his children to come to him, not to run from him, not to be trying to hide from him. This is somebody they had intentions of you turning into a sinner. They want you to turn into somebody that will just say, well, if God is mad at me about doing it that one time, well, I'm going to just keep doing it. They want to be able to look down upon you. They want to be able to feel negatively about you. They want to be able to feel as though you are just this awful person. God said it is not so. That is not how he sees you. He loves you. 
and he has he has forgiven you of whatever that sin is he has like that is over it's done it's finished it's okay and that's the message. I'm looking at where it says people will dwell again in his shade. They will flourish like the grain. They will blossom like the vine. Israel's fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. And I feel like for somebody, God is saying that he has called you to be famous. He has called you to be um, popular. He's going like this is somebody God is going to bring you up and he's bringing you up for his name's sake. OK, and, you know, sometimes people think that just because they lived a certain lifestyle or because they lived a life of sin or they did something sinful in their life that God would never notification that God would never use them and God will never bring them up. And that's certainly not true. OK, what better way for God to flex his strength and his power than for him to use somebody that was literally living the opposite of the way he wanted them to live? And they turned their life around and followed him. God says he is blessing you for his name's sake, his name's sake. He's bringing you up for his name's sake. It's OK. Okay, you you repented of your sins. You are forgiven of your sins. Now go. It's okay. Okay, God said, get up from there. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. He forgives you. He loves you. And he will he'll take you back every time. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.